I was working down in uh, Texas, L3 Communications. I was working on Navy P3s and Air Force RJs, heavy maintenance birds. So when I came back home, my wife was like, hey, why don't you go back to school? Your passion was always to fly. That was your dream. You never really wanted to you know, work the AMP section. So I went back to school at OSU. I have always loved aviation. Uh, I started out as a pro pilot and decided that I'd like to be on the management side of things. Uh, many years ago, I started with actually the professional pilot degree, and then in the courses of I kind of had to stop school and take care of my mom, and then I started working at the airport, and I decided to come back and get my bachelor's degree in administration. Well, I've, I spent most of my adult life working in aviation. I got started on that a long time ago in the, in the military. Uh, spent 20 years in the Marine Corps aviation. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Like at the beginning of each class, they ask you what your major is and why you're doing it and so on and so forth and what you plan on doing when you graduate. And I uh, just tell them that uh, I plan on retiring. I'm making that transition from the military sector over into the civilian world again. I've been in 24 years now. Uh, the last six years I've been working as a first sergeant, so I'm basically a, a mid-level manager. And I think it's going to make me a more qualified applicant. Um, <laughs> And so that's, that's probably like, that's my biggest reason. And when people first think of aviation, yes, they think, you know, pilot, airplanes, and it, and it is about, you know, making sure that the pilot and the aircraft and as well as the travelers are secure and having a good experience. There's an administration where you can deal with the finances. There's a marketing uh, aspect. And then there's like airport operations, which that's where I'm leading to. On the operation side of the house, we deal with uh, you know, different the regulations on different markings, different signage, you know how everything correlates to what a pilot has to see. Because without those markings being correct, the pilot won't know where to go. You get your hands in in money. You get your hands in marketing. Get your hands in the decision makings of your employees. So it's awesome. When I went into the aviation education. Um, I was ignorant. Didn't really know what to expect, didn't know what to look for, didn't know what questions to ask. Um, so I learned the hard way on, on what I should expect from a school, what a school should provide for me. Um, so I tried these other schools. They, they really didn't provide the quality of education that I was looking for, that I expected. Um, OSU and right from the beginning was able to answer all of my aviation questions. This is what you should expect from us. This is what you're going to get from us. This is how it's set up. This is what we're going to do for you. And it was it was very simple to just get into it. And the educational experience has been dramatically better than anything else I've received. I actually started flying since I was 16. I haven't finished flying. It's, I always ran into money problems. And so I came out to uh, another school out here in Oklahoma. Didn't work out too well. So now I'm at OSU trying to get my uh, pilot's license. I can get my pilot's license with the management too. So that's what I'm trying to do. You can get all that through OSU? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Financial aid will work with you. And your access funds, I use that to go to uh, airports for flight training. OSU has a great program. They've, they've spent a lot of money to develop this program in Stillwater, but really in Tulsa, you have instructors here that are in the field. You know, we have the field here in Tulsa. We have the uh, instructors. You know, um, you can go out and see American Airlines where they actually do the maintenance, where they also do all kinds of other stuff. You got the air traffic control. You got the airport here that you can go, that they take everybody to see the security of it, aspect of it. Uh, Tulsa has a, a abundance of aerospace that the faculty here tap into and. It really, not only do you get to see it in books and read about it in books, you get to go see it. You see it firsthand. I, I, I wish I would have found out about OSU before I graduated with the other school I went to. I mean, it really hands-on experience, one-on-one um, -on -one talking with the professors if you need it, um, and it's cheaper. And, and, and it's not so much, you know, nowadays it's not so much how much money when it comes to the aviation you can spend. Uh, the employers don't really look at that. They look at your your background, your your, your training, your qualifications, and OSU comes to the table when it comes to that. Like when I deployed to Iraq, 
it was wonderful because I was able to um, still be working, you know, taking those steps towards earning my degree in aviation management and not miss out on a semester. So the professors here, they have really worked with me. Everybody has been wonderful, you know, just regardless, you know, what part of the process, you know, that they filled. Um, but they, they've really been over backwards. They're pro-military. Um, and I just, I, I like the smaller classes here at OSU Tulsa. Um, the, there's more of a diversity, I think. You know, I've, there's a, definitely a lot more veterans and, you know, the non-traditional students here at this campus. And, you know, the hours, you know, work really good with my schedule as well. It not only is designed here for aviation, but it seems to me that you're learning the basic values and the basic tools where you, you can manage anywhere. So, especially if you use it the old Marine Corps way, leadership by example. I've always felt like I've had leadership abilities. OSU has really, it's a better school than, than the others around. It's really encouraged and kind of taught me how to develop my leadership skills. Yeah. And why limit yourself to one little nutshell? Because no matter what you do in life, you know, experiences, you gather all your experiences and your work ethic and move forward. And don't listen to the naysayers who try to hold you back because they're lazy. Right? Okay, you'll probably edit that. <laughs>